Good morning, guardians. The Hijabi Gamer here, and it impresses me just how fast the week goes by. It's already Friday again. I got absolutely nothing done this week. It just went from Monday, and now it's suddenly Friday, and Zer is back in the tower. I didn't even get to play very much video games. It was just an exhausting week of just busyness. Anyway, it's Friday, and as you can see, we are in the tower for original Destiny. My favorite tower. Still the best tower. Same view, same everything. It's glorious. Anyway, as you can see, it's Friday. Zer is in the tower. This is how you know. You see the mark over here. It's right over here. That means Zer is in the tower. If it's Friday and you don't see that mark, it means he's in the reef. Now, just the usual reminder that this is original destiny, which means Zer is only in the game for 48 hours. Now, for me, in New Jersey, it's about 6.15 a.m., okay? He arrives for me at 5 a.m. in the morning on Friday, and he leaves on Sunday at 5 a.m. So by the time this video is up, you have less than 48 hours to locate Zer and pick up everything you need. This is important, because this is not Destiny 2. Destiny 2, I understand, he stays in the game until reset. And also, reset in Destiny 2 is later. Reset in Destiny 1 is very early in the morning. For me, in New Jersey, it varies your location. Reset in Destiny 2 for me is in the afternoon. I don't know exactly what time because it's usually while I'm at work. So if I am looking forward to anything related to Reset when I get home from work, I know it's already been done. Anyway, it's pretty easy where to locate him. We got a really good week. We have a decent week. We got stuff I like. So anyway, we're heading towards the uh, Vanguard. Let's just see. Are there any new people? Because it's surprising. So we got uh, old person, old person. Old person, new person, nah, pretty new person, and definitely new person. So, um, we are definitely, we got like three new people. I have noticed there are new people in Destiny. Yes, people keep coming in because this is a good game. Anyway, as you can see, there's the Vanguard, there's Cade, and here is Zer. And he's got some good stuff, like I said. He's got one of my favorite guns, Zalo Supercell. Zala Supercell is definitely a good weapon to have. So, this is Zala Supercell and the ornament, not a toy. <sighs> right. So, as you can see, we're on my level 13 hunter with his light 400 Galahorn. Yes. Um, ever, anyway, Zala Supercell. So, Zala Supercell and not a toy. This is Shock Hazard. You're getting the ornament, not a toy. It's okay. It's pretty cool. My favorite is um, Shock Hazard, but this is a decent one as well. Um, Zala Supercell has bolts from the blue, double kills with this weapon, charge a small amount of super energy, and return ammo to the magazine. And you have Zalo Supercell, which is arc projectiles, have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. What's also unique about this weapon is this is Original Destiny. Auto rifles are usually only kinetic weapons. Primary weapon slots do not have elemental damage. However, Zalo Supercell, as you can see, is in my primary slot. So that's what made Zalo Supercell unique, which is why, if you can, I highly recommend you pick it up. Because um, this will give you an additional elemental damage type. This will allow you to have three elemental damages. So let's say you have match game going. I mean, putting aside the fact that it's just a great gun, the, the arc damage, the lightning chain damage thing is really, really good. Especially when you're fighting, like, a wall of cabal with their shields. This is great. But, you know, a whole bunch of Thrall are coming at you. It's great as well. But um, this means you can now carry three different elemental types, which is a great help. When you have match game going on and you need to get match those shields of different enemies. So, good weapon to pick up. Highly recommend it. If you don't have Zalo Supercell, I say just, just pick it up. Go for it. It's good to have. Buster agrees. She's sitting right there. She's saying... What? You don't have Zala Supercell yet? Buy it now. She she looks really angry. If you don't have Zala Supercell, she's looking at you in anger. She's very disappointed in you. Um, so Zala Supercell. Yes, they're going to pick up Zala Supercell Buster. Don't worry. It's a good gun. Okay? You, get, you happy now? You happy? Yeah, she's happy. Okay? Next we have the Dragon's Breath and Tiger Shark. Dragon's Breath is a rocket launcher. Solar rocket launcher. I can't use it on this character yet because he's only level like 13. So this is Tiger Shark, which looks cooler, I will admit, than without it. Yeah, Tiger Shark is 
way cooler. But Dragon's Breath. Release trigger after weapon fire to drop a solar damage napalm canister. Cool, cool. Surplus. Expect to find ammo for this weapon. Increased carried ammo capacity. A kill with the final round in this magazine increases reload speed. Yeah, I, I mean, you can see I haven't really unlocked it. This is original Destiny. You have to unlock stuff. This is my actual Dragon's Breath. Yeah, I wasn't really too excited about it. But, yay, solar rocket launcher. Um, I'm a bigger fan of, of um, this rocket launcher I got from Crota's End that gives me tracking and cluster bombs. But it's a good one to have. Look, if the choice is between Dragon's Breath and Zalo Supercell, just go for Zalo Supercell. If the only thing you could, if you could only pick up one thing this week, even though I haven't seen the armor yet, I haven't looked at it, go for Zalo Supercell. All right? All right. But Dragon's Breath, look, it's always good to have as many of the um, exotics as possible because it unlocks the blueprint and it gives you a Grimoire score. So, but at the very least, pick up Zalo Supercell. All right? And we have... Truth. Truth is a rocket launcher. It is a void rocket launcher. I don't have it with me. All right. Truth. All right. Truth. This causes void damage, grenades, and horseshoes. Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. And prototype true seeker rounds fired from this weapon seek their targets aggressively. It's okay. Um, I'm not as big a fan of truth simply because I like tracking and cluster bombs. And I'm not seeing cluster bombs here, which, I mean, come on, cluster bombs. Just, just cluster bombs. And I have tracking and cluster bombs on my legendary rocket launcher from Crota's End on my other character. But this is also a good weapon to have. Again, I, I always recommend, if you can pick up everything, just pick everything up. Just, just go for it. Just go. But if you can only pick up one thing, Buster agrees with me, go for Zalo Supercell. Because Zalo Supercell is just awesome. Right? Cool. Now let's look at the boring part, the armor. So we've got for the Titan, Ruin Wings, which I think this is one of the ones that I'm ridiculously jealous about. Heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. Yes, I'm jealous of this one. On the other hand, it's not as big a deal in Destiny as Destiny 2. Because Destiny, you have heavy ammo since. So when it really comes down to if you're really in a corner... You can pop a heavy ammo synth. Um, this isn't even my primary character, and I've got... Wait, no, I only have one. I thought I grabbed a whole bunch. But on my PlayStation account, I have, I mean, I have several hundred have heavy ammo synths. So, and I always pick up heavy ammo synths. Now that I have all the exotics, I always pick them up. So, while this is really nice, heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop, I'd rather have this in Destiny 2 than original Destiny. Um... Here, again, heavy ammo since They don't have heavy ammo since in Destiny 2. This would help a lot in Destiny 2. But it, it's okay. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I can't really tell since I'm on a hunter. Anyway, next we have the Lucky Raspberry. Arc, bolt, grenade, chains further, respawn with full grenade energy. I hear this is great in Crucible. I already have my favorite choices of exotics, and Lucky Raspberry is not it. I'm more of a Frosty's person, which gives me more grenades. Um, this is, I'm told it's very good. I haven't really used it because I tend to pick certain exotics and get into a rut and just keep using the same exotic. So let me know, hunters. She's getting bored with the weapon, with the armor. She just gave me a really big yawn. Commentary not appreciated, cat. So let me know what you think of Lucky Raspberry. I heard it's very, very good when arc burn is in effect. Um, and that it's good in Crucible. But honestly, just go for Zala Supercell. Just go for Zala Supercell. Maybe, come, come on. It's just, it's a lot better. I have used a Zala Supercell against uh, the Scions in Challenge of the Elders, and it's been great to use. So, Zala Supercell. Just, just, if you can only get one thing, get Zala Supercell. Okay? Finally, for the, for the Warlock, we have the Obsidian Mind, which looks ridiculously cool. All right? That definitely looks ridiculously cool. And it passes my test, a.k.a. is it bulkier than a corpus helmet? No, no, it's not, so it passes. As I've said, as long as the helmet is not bulkier than a corpus helmet, you're good. Once it passes the corpus helmet bulk, then you've gone too far. I mean, the corpus helmet is basically on the verge of 
too bulky. Now, I personally have never worn a corpus helmet, so I don't know how flexible and comfortable it is. I'm going to go with it probably is pretty comfortable since the corpus has existed for centuries and they've used those helmets for centuries. So over time, they've probably adapted to be better. I'm guessing there's also a massive HUD because if you look carefully, what you think is the eye line is not the eye line. The little light slip, that's not the eye line. It's actually pretty low. So they probably have monitors on the inside and that's like a sensor on the outside. But... Nova Bomb reduces cooldown of next Nova Bomb. Let me know. It seems decent. I'm not a big Warlock person, and I've never been a Nova Bomb person because, um, self res. The only reason I played a Warlock in Destiny was self res. Destiny 2, I played a Warlock for a brief time, and I should go back to it because Flaming Swords of Flaming Awesomeness. And I like anything that's flaming swords of flaming awesomeness. Just like I like flaming hammers of flaming awesomeness for the Titan in Original Destiny. So, Nova Bomb has never been a big deal for me. So, I really can't tell you much about Nova Bomb. Um, so, that's why I have a YouTube channel. So, people who actually play Warlock can be like, You idiot, this is why Nova Bomb is great. This is why you should be playing Nova Bomb. Go play Nova Bomb. So, Feel free to go, you idiot, this is why you should play Nova Bomb. This is why you should play Warlock in the comments below. I'm not going to say no. I mean, look, I, I'm one of those people who I want to get good, but the only way I'm going to get good is if somebody tells you, yes, you idiot, this is why you should be doing this, do it this way. On the other hand, I can also be ridiculously stubborn. And when uh, I was fighting Savathun and Void 3.0 had come out, everyone was yelling at me to use no Void. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm going to go with Golden Gun just to spite Bungie. <laughs> because it was Void 3.0 and everyone said, go for Void. Why the hell aren't you running Void? You idiot, you should be running Void. Why are you not running Void against Savathun? And I soloed Sabathun my way. They're like, why are you using a hand cannon? I'm like, because it's malfeasance. And I love malfeasance. And I'm going to use malfeasance. Because you guys told me not to use malfeasance. So sometimes I will admit I can be a little on the stubborn side. Because I want to do it my way. But at least tell me why Obsidian Mind is great or sucks. I'd like to know that. I really would. Anyway. This has been your weekly update on the state of Xur in Original Destiny. I am hoping to make more content. It's just the week ridiculously flies by. And I usually come home from work and um, the last thing I want to do is turn on my computer. I still have been wanting to hook my uh, Oculus Quest 2 into my PC and try some games on it. Because I'm told it actually looks phenomenal even if it's not a 3D game. But yeah. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video because I'm probably one of the last people left who's making original Destiny content. Buy original Destiny because it is a great game if you do not already have it. Download original Destiny if you have it but you have uninstalled it because it's original Destiny and I think it's the better game. And uh, I hope to see you in the tower, the original Destiny tower, the nicer looking tower. Yes, absolutely.